President Trump may have killed his panel probing allegations of widespread voter fraud, but the controversy surrounding its mission appears destined to continue. Upon issuing an executive order last week terminating the Presidential Advisory Commission on Election Integrity which met only twice and faced a flood of lawsuits, Trump said he had asked the Department of Homeland Security to take a look at the panel's work and determine next courses of action. Boosters of the commission, including its vice chairman and driving force, Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, are are pushing for the DHS to focus on using data that the department collects on citizenship to ferret out illegal voters on state voting rolls. In theory, such a massive undertaking could bolster the unproven and widely derided claim by Trump that launched the commission, that millions of illegally cast ballots cost him the popular vote against Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. Critics of the panel including some of its Democratic members say such an exercise remains misguided regardless of who conducts it. This is just another wild goose chase and a bad idea, said Alan King, a probate judge in Alabama who was one of the more outspoken Democrats on the 11-member commission, whose work he characterized as aimed at voter suppression. There's an ideology that they only want people to vote who look like they do and think like they do. King said of his Republican colleagues on the now-defunct panel. In an interview, Kobach lamented the end of the commission, which he blamed on uncooperative Democrats and paralyzing lawsuits, but said shifting its work to the DHS is a natural handoff. Kobach who has aggressively sought to prosecute alleged voter fraud in Kansas, where he is running for governor, said he plans to advise both the White House and the DHS on how to proceed. The Trump administration still wants to put the facts on the table, he said. One of the commission's unfilled tasks was delivering a report to Trump. It remains unclear how broadly the DHS sees its mission and how much input it plans to take from Kobach. Mr. Kobach is not advising the department on this matter, DHS spokesman Tyler Holton said in a statement Friday. While the DHS's role could evolve, Holton said its main focus now is continuing its work supporting state governments against those who seek to undermine the election system or its integrity. In October, the DHS convened a meeting to coordinate with states about keeping election machines and other critical infrastructure secure. Civil rights groups and other critics of the commission applauded Trump's announcement Wednesday that he was disbanding the panel, which had nominally been led by Vice President Pence. But in the days since, several groups said they plan to closely monitor what happens in the DHS and other areas of the administration on voting issues. With or without the commission, the president remains fixated on the lie about massive voter fraud, California Secretary of State Alex Padilla, d, said. We need to remain vigilant.